Lab 599, the company that brought us the Discovery TX500 Ultra Compact, Ultra Doable, Portable QRP Radio, has a new radio out that they revealed called the TX500 MP. Let's check it out. I learned about this, quite frankly, from Instagram, but at the same time, Julian, OH8STN, has three or four videos about this radio. He's been actually, according to his videos, he's been in contact with Lab 599 about this upcoming product. What we know right now is very limited. I pulled some images from Facebook and from their Instagram to just kind of read through what we've got. And Julian doesn't have a lot either, just because the company's being tight-lipped about it. So I will link Julian's videos below. So go check those, those out when you get time. But right now, what we know is that this TX500 MP transceiver is going to be a new man pack type transceiver. There's been a lot of hype and a lot of interest, a lot more type man pack portable devices out lately. This is the first one that I recall seeing on a, well, it, it's not the first one. The Guo Hedic uh, PMR171 that I did a while back has all the ports on the top so that you can set it in a bag, battery on the bottom, ports on the top, antenna coming out the top. It's made to be man pack portable. I am supposed to be getting a new version of that radio that includes DMR, so you'll see some more videos about that on the channel. I actually want to put it in a backpack, take it out to do parks on the air. But that's what this one is designed to do. Right here on this page, I actually pulled this again. I pulled this from the Facebook page for um, Lab 599 Discovery TX500, whatever it's called out there. New controls and connectors layout allows to use the transceiver being placed into a backpack and get on the air right on the go. Okay, so there's there's some there's some breakdown in English on this. No worries. No worries. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Represents a totally new concept of HF man pack transceiver. It's improved form factor, supports various ways to carrying the radio and use it on the move. Okay. The first thing you'll notice that all the ports are on the top. One of the things about the, uh, the, the original TX500 is that it had ports on both the sides. You would have cables coming out of both sides, antenna, power, uh, maybe a tuner, maybe a connection to the amplifier that is made by DIY 599, stuff like that. So all of these ports are on the top of the transceiver. This is pretty cool right here. So kind of zoom in on that a little bit and scroll down. There we go. So continuous frequency range from 0 0.5 to 56 megahertz. I believe that was corrected to say it's actually continuous from like 1.8 megahertz up to 56 megahertz. Uh, it goes down to 0 0.5, but I don't think it's continuous to 0 0.5. More to come on that later. Built-in automatic tuner. So already we're one step ahead of the TX500. The TX500 had no built-in tuner and it had no built-in sound card. So you had to use something like a DigiRig. Now, DigiRig makes great products. They have a kit that you can buy. A Gigapart sell those. You can get to discounts on all that. I'm going to give you some links here in a minute. But DigiRig makes a kit that has uh, cables that interface with the TX500 that will uh, allow you to add a sound card to it. Very easy to use. Adjustable power from 1 to 10 watts. Supports modes of single sideband, upper and lower. CW, digital, AM, and FM. So does it have a built-in sound card? I believe not, but I believe it has an attachment for a sound card. We'll, we'll look at that in a minute. High-performance 32-bit floating-point IFDSP processor. Okay. Direct sunlight resistant high contrast monochrome LCD display. I did hear some people uh, say that the display on the original TX500 was a little bit hard to see in the sunlight. I personally never had that problem. But I can, I can see how, how that might be a thing for, for some people, depending on where you're trying to operate. If I go out and operate at a park or something, I'm usually trying to operate in the shade, even though it's sunny out. I don't usually operate in direct sunlight, but that's me. So which, whichever one you want to do. Efficient power consumption up to 100 milliamp hours in receiving mode. 100, I'm sorry, 100 milliamps in receiving mode. That's good. That's really good. That means your battery's going to last a lot longer. External 9 to 15 volt power supply. So that means we can uh, plug in, plug a battery directly into it. Nothing weird there. 100 channels, PC programmable memory, ultra compact size, 20 by 90 by 31 millimeters, and lightweight uh, 0 0.6 uh, kilograms. A little bit more than a half a pound, maybe. So something like that, and it, it looks really cool. Uh, another picture they got right here. This is, I got off the Facebook page. You can see this right here. Microphone in the top, antenna coming out the top, and uh, I can't really tell what that says right there but i don't know what that port is for maybe for a maybe for the amplifier interface something like that tx500 mp so very cool looking radio very great looking aesthetics on the radio built-in tuner so it is gonna be a step above the tx500 that we previously saw now 
Speaking of tuners, I will tell you that this video is going to be posted the week of Hamcation. And Hamcation, at the Gigaparts table, you can save a 20% discount on all LDG Electronics products. LDG makes tuners specifically for the 705, tuners specifically for this radio, tuners specifically for ICOM, Kenwood, Yezu, all of the things. And you can enjoy a 20% discount off of LDG. They are sponsoring this video today. Go by the Gigaparts table if you're coming to Hamcation 2024 and tell them that Ham Radio 2.0 sent you and take advantage of the 20% discount from LDG Electronics. There's really not much else about this radio. This radio doesn't even appear on lab599.com on their website. It's still just the uh, the original TX500 transceiver, which I actually have and I have used only once and I have not used it on POTA. I used it to hunt some POTA from the backyard one time right after I got it and I haven't really, I'm, I'm sad to say, I haven't really used it much since then. I did purchase the amplifier. I'm going to have to find that. I did purchase the external battery pack for it. And I'm actually going to probably work on a video right after I get done with this video to show you all that stuff. But this was a very well-received radio. It was a great concept, great interface with multiple types of things like DigiRig and whatnot, uh, LDG tuners. Everyone I know, I only know like three or four people who actually purchased and own this radio and use it and everyone i know really loves it winter field day bill k0 whw he had one of these that he didn't use at field day but we went out and did pota the day after and i got to see him do some cw on it so it worked really good for that and uh it's just a it's a very well made very durable very forward thinking radio in my opinion so seeing a man pack version come out of it and seeing new innovation coming out of that company i'm excited to see that what do you guys think what would you like to see what do you want to see in a new version of that radio? What do you want it to be able to do that the old version didn't do? Are you excited about a man pack? Are you the type of person that would put it in a backpack and go walking around the woods and, and operate it from a chest portable rig or something like that? I find that to be intriguing, but uh, not everyone does. And that's okay. That's okay, whichever. I found another picture on uh, somewhere, maybe Julian has it in his video. Go watch Julian's video. He's got a picture of this interface coming out of the radio that has a USB-C connection and a push-to-talk button and a couple of other audio connections for it, making us think that it will interface, well, interface with USB-C, but will it directly connect to WSJTX to do FT8 or a Whisper or something like that? I didn't catch if that was an, a thing yet. So like I said, very little information about this radio right now, but I'm looking forward to it. I've already emailed the company and said, hey, how can I purchase one of these from you? I'm not asking for one. I'm trying to purchase one from them. So hopefully you'll see it on the channel soon. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see out of this Radio 73.